Satya. Don't touch me. Satya? I forget how to say it. Probably Satya. <laughs> Don't touch me. Eager for work, I see. Lucky. Uh, eager for work, I see. Lucky for you, a day never goes by, but I don't wish I had a fledgling druid to perform my bidding. <laughs> you see, brood, I can make you very happy and provide you with things you never dreamed of having. But in order for that to happen, you must bring me certain items. My business in the forest often requires certain reagents. Fetch for me free night saber fangs, free strigid owl feathers, and free swatches of webwood spider silk. Let's keep this our little secret, Night Elf. Oh, sure, okay, that sounds good. You'll give me XP, right? Have you have you been a busy little bee brood? I've been waiting for you to bring me what I need. Haha, <laughs> well done indeed. Who would have ever guessed that I, Zen Foulhoof, would have a Night Elf to do my bidding? Certainly not me. But so it goes. This beloved world of ours is full of surprises. Free cheers for the naive and gullible. Cool, I think I did a good thing. That mu that must have been a good thing because I leveled up. I got XP and money. That's how morals work in this game, right? I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that's how they work. Hey Zen. Hey buddy, how's it going? You again? What do you have for me, brood? A lovely snack, I presume? Ah, what a sweet night elf. I knew you would come in handy. Ribbit. No, this cannot Ribbit B you have duped me with Ribbit your foul trickery, Ribbit. So long Zen. The annoying thing is <laughs> if you're a player coming along to pick up Zen's quest now, you can't do it because he's a frog. And I don't know how long he remains a frog for. But it's happened to me <laughs> and it's slightly frustrating. <laughs> 